remember anything that might help me. I need to find Anton Sokolov. He could be the key to unraveling the Duke's plans. My memories are disjointed. The Duke is close to his grand inventor, Kirin Jindosh. But that man has the empathy of a mantis. He seems to both admire and despise Sokolov. We visited Aramis Stilton. I liked him. But something bad happened. Just snatches a memory. Sorry. You should rest easy for a while. Maybe some of that will help. I hope so. I'm not sure I even fully understand what you did for me. But I owe you for helping me at Adamire. Thank you. Ooh. Back to our patient's notes. On a boat, with friends, I believe. I slept, thankfully without the usual nightmares. Perhaps the sea air does me good. The captain Megan Foster brought me to tea earlier. Such an interesting woman. She seemed to understand. But my disjointed memories, the feeling of dread that accompanied them. As soon as I am able, I must return to Admire. So much of the last few months seemed a blur. What was I accomplishing? What am I researching to serums for the Black Spittle? My work was so easily derailed. I can only conclude I'm suffering with a complete, exhaustive breakdown. I will need time to recover. Yeah, no. You're under... You kept drugging yourself. To be honest, I think someone needs to tell her the truth. I know it won't... You know... It's a hard thing to... You know... It would be a hard thing for her to bear, but I think it's important for her to know what's actually going on so she could actually properly deal with it, you know? My dreams are still filled with visions. Some of which I'd sooner forget. Yeah. When I first got here, I was in a daze. But I'm feeling better. That's good. I'm not sure how long I'll stay here. But I appreciate being away from Adamar. A few days recovery has helped. It might be the salty air or the rocking of the boat. Maybe just being around good people again. How long has Emily been out? Maybe someday Karnaka will return to the way it was under the old Duke, Theodanus. You be careful. Unless someone can correct all this, the next decade or more might be gloomy indeed. Okay, she's done talking. And I got a, an achievement for talking to her here on the boat. Also, book. Uh, presumably this has been added too. Um, so. Or it hasn't. Alright. Uh, heart. Nothing has changed. You shall be into the harsh world. You are alone, but for a few hours. Is that new? You cannot see. I am here and not here when you called me. I heard a story once of a single call. Um, she seems to just be repeating. I'm starting to understand why Anton wanted to go to Donwall to seek Emily's help. She's impressive. I do wonder if she's really suited for palace life. Maybe she wonders how herself sometimes. We could have been good friends at a time when I was running across the rooftops like she is now, watching my enemies from the shadows. I just hope she's breeding tomorrow morning, so I can complain when she puts on... Uh, I just hope she's breeding tomorrow morning, so I can complain when she puts her dusty boots up on the table again. I've, I've lost so many friends. Um, first, my... First, my sweet uh, Deirdre, uh, others along the way, go with old Aramis Stilton, who disappeared three years ago, now, Ant and now Anton. Maybe this is my punishment on bad luck. Please, Emily, bring him back. This is... Uh, I can't remember her name. It's Dowd's lady. Uh, Dowd's lieutenant. I've actually completely blanked on it. What 
what the hell happened to the ship? I don't remember it being like that. Also, the side thing. Um, Billy Work, that's it. Yeah, it's Billy, it's Billy Work. Let's hope your friend doesn't sink the boat while we're gone. Ready? Ready. Yeah, ready. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's get underway. What? I wonder what time it is. Um, I'm gonna have to have a tab now in a second. Anton Sokolov is being held at the manor of Karen Jindosh, grand inventor to the Duke and creator of the Cockwork Soldier. Get inside, rescue Sokolov, and eliminate Jin Dodge before he builds an army of Cockwork Soldiers. Okay. Jin Dosh is important to the Duke's inner circle. The Grand Guard watches his mansion, and they'll call down the entire city if they find out who you are. I'll make sure they don't. You said there's a wall of light cutting off access to the carriage station? Yes. But there's a black market shop nearby. They sell on the sly. Ever use a rewiring tool? Corvo taught me the theory. Good. Get past the wall of light, then ride the carriage to where Jindosh lives. And there's a reason people are afraid of his mansion. I'll get it done. I'm gonna take care of this crazy man and his clockwork soldiers, then bring Sokolov back. He means a lot to me. So Gov's a good guy. Might be some gubbins that way. Hmm. His home is supposed to be full of marvels. And horrors. Locals go in as a test of courage or because they're desperate for a meal. Kids even. People say you can hear them at night, pounding on the windows, calling for help. The carriage will take you fairly close to the mansion. The Duke looks after people like Jindosh. When you're done, meet me back here. If you can't find a rewiring tool, and you manage to get to the other side of the Wall of Light, there should be a power source somewhere. A whale oil tank or windmill. Turning it off works just as good. And nobody gets burned to ashes. Yeah, I'll just be turning it off. With the wall of light. I once saw a kid dare his little brother to touch one of those things. Oh no. A second later, nothing left but dust. The Duke's circle is full of clever bastards, all working for a percentage. But no one is like Jindosh. Not since Sokolov. Jindosh entered his clockwork soldiers in the Duke's tournament. The Blade Verbana. No one can beat them. Corvo won that when he was 16, didn't he? But he never faced anything like the clockworks. Though it's really an unfair fight, ain't it? You're putting a flesh and blood person up against a being in metal. You know, it's kind of an unfair fight. It's not even a matter of someone being a more skilled fighter. You hack at someone's arm in the right, you know, right way. You gouge deep enough. They're not going to be able to easily use that arm, uh, or they can, you know, like they can use it, but it'll hurt them. Maybe trough their aim a bit. You gouge, try and do that with a clockwork soldier's arm, and you're just going to glance off, or scratch your own blade, you know, depending on what you know, the fat, you know, the metals and all that, you know. It's it's a bit of a shit, you know. Bit shit, basically. Jindosh won't care who you are or what you want. To him, it's all a puzzle to work out. He looks at you like he wants to take you apart. Okay. Ooh, Christ up! Oh, well, but mine. I haven't really crafted too much. But, uh, I'm... I'll be working towards it. Um, hmm. I could... can't break that down, sadly. Ten bone charms. Let's look here. Uh, which is skin. When taking damage, your mana is drained for your health, but your mana doesn't regenerate. 
I've also blast resistance, which makes me resistant to explosions. I'm thinking I could break down this and the other thing and combine them together. Uh, break down this with uh, drinking from. A <sighs> the thing is, I don't drink from fountains. So I feel like there's no point in doing that, really. Yeah, we'll just hold off on that. I'm going to have a quick look around here first. So there might be something of worth here. Trespassing. Hmm. Wonder how Piero is. Let's go this way. There's the carriage station and there's the black market shop. We'll make our way towards the black market shop. I need the governs. Crown. Bizarre proclamation. Up we go. Yeah, those are just civvies. And they should be fine with me. Uh, oh. This is of interest. No, it's not. Thought I could have entered here, here but new. Let's back up. Something's happened here. Okay, Grand Guard was killed. There's a bone charm here. Spiritual pool. I imagine that presumably increases the amount of mana I have. Nope, increases my mana regeneration. Okay, I'm going to break down Leviathan's Mind and Spiritual Pool and combine them together. Leviathan's Mind. Confirm. Spiritual Pool. Confirm. Craft. Here. Uh, spiritual Pool. And Leviathan's Mind. Hold it. There we go. I will start bothering with the tier three and fours, uh, with the f the four combos later. Um, for now, this is good enough. I don't want to have to deal with the corruption aspect of it. Wish I could. I wish I could name them. Hmm. Here's a letter. Letter to Bonville, Major Bonville. Thank you again for your help. Without you, it would have been impossible to trace the final members of the Grand Guard who were with Stilton that night, three years ago. The last man who made it all the way north to Maya, if you can believe it, was recovering at the Tivian Asylum for the Poor. Glimmings have seen all manner of strange things on the night of Tivian's last social gathering. He described an exotic, hooded figure approach visiting the manor. Perhaps someone connected to Stilton's disappearance. Um, such, uh, such matters are best left to military men, such as yourself, I suppose. If you... Uh, I still have your bank agent's name and address. Rest assured your final payment will be delivered soon. Most of sending a small flask of liquor that is close to my heart. Made from the 
pomace left over uh, left over after grape wines have been pressed. Think of me as you enjoy. Yours truly, Branna Ashward. Branna uh, Ashward. Okay. There's a rune over there. Black bone charm. If I get up here. It's still too far. No, it's not. Beautiful. If I just enter in here. Drop. What, what's this? Bango Coastline. A reflection on my journey. Oh, it's uh, one of Sokolov's books. Cool. Christ, these are so damn easy to miss. So easy. They don't stick... I... I just don't seem as well as in the other ones. The Southern Winds by Caleb Manley. Natural Philosopher. The Natural Man Officer. That was terrible. The Southern Winds present uh, just manly, just uh, it's a funny surname. Uh, the Southern Winds presented at the Academy for the benefit of and moral edification of the pupils therein. Excerpt from a speech. Cherished students and learned colleague, colleagues, have you not heard the tales of Sokonos and the beauty of its people? I pose questions today that I hope to answer in great detail. I'll start with the ones commonly asked by travelers for many decades. Does the warmer clime affect the spiritual outlook of people? Are those born in Tivia, morally or crystal, possessed of a more tactor nature through the geographic and meteorological conditions of their birth? And are these subjects influenced by the obscure uh, currents of warmer water and air that are channeled across the dreadful ocean from the pedestrian continent itself? We know so little about that far land. In my travels, I have been impressed with the... Co the commonality shared across all cultures, but there are also differences. It is my goal to illuminate those, these areas of inquiry, and I will share at least one spicy circonian recipe with you before the day is done. Let me take a quick drink. I probably missed so much in this playthrough. I'm just really not used to the dark vision here. Even with the normal dark vision, I miss stuff, but with this, I miss more. She seems to just like to repeat. Familiar scent. Wolf hounds cannot smell you. Useful. I feel like I should combine these two. Yeah, I'll combine ground glider and the other thing. Uh, ground glider. Confirm. And that. Great bone charm. Uh, movement. Movement. Craft. Beautiful. I wonder, is there any beneficial corruption you can get? Probably not. First of all, we'll put on familiar scent, and now this. Familiar, familiar scent is a useful one. Obviously, it depends on whether or not the BCs are there in the first place, but still, um, um, it's still it's useful to have. Excerpt from a historical series, uh, The Child Empress. There was a definitive moment when people stopped calling Emily, uh, called one the Child Empress. It came after an ambush by the Re Regenters, an extremist group who wanted Dunwall to return to the authoritarianism of the Lord's Regent's rule. On the way back to Dunwall Tower, Caldwin's carriage was blocked with, between two gates, with her attackers firing pistols, even throwing a grenade. With the royal protector too far away to be of service, the young Empress, only fifteen, found herself all alone in the, car uh, in the carriage, save for a friend. Alexi Mayhew. 
Uh, Caldwin supporters are lucky that Mayhew was there. I, sh 